Good evening, friends. In the last class, we have discussed about cutting tool materials. And now let's see another important thing that's the cutting fluids. Now you know, during machining, the tool and the workpiece will be in contact with each other, which develops a friction in between. Due to this friction, a high temperature generates or a high heat is produced. This high heat, this high temperature and this friction may reduce the tool life. Also, it may produce improper surface finish because you know between the tool and work piece, it's a friction, it's a heavy friction, it's a high friction. It will have improper chip removal, improper shape, improper uh, size, etc. So now to overcome this, we introduce cutting fluid. Okay, now let's first fluid. During metal cutting, heat is generated due to plastic deforming. Okay, this is plastic deforming of metals. Due to this plastic deforming metals and between the friction of the tool and workpiece interface, heavy heat is generated. And this will increase the temperature of this both workpiece and tool. In turn, this temperature generated improves, reduces the life of tool. Now we use cutting fluid as I already said. Cutting fluid is used to carry away the heat generated between the tool and workpiece. Fine. So what is that? Cutting fluid is used to carry away the heat generated between the tool and workpiece. Okay, now next slide please. Let's see the functions of cutting fluid. Cutting fluids, now this is the important one, cool. Okay, cool. Just mind your mind, cool. Cutting fluid cools the heat or carries away the heat generated between the tool and workpiece. When this heat is carried away, the surface finish will improve. We will be having good metal removal rate. When, now, when this friction is reduced, automatically what happens? The tool life will increase. This is important. When friction is decreased, the tool life will increase and surface finish will also increase. That is in turn you have to consider. And it lubricates the cutting tool and thus reduces the coefficient of friction between two and workpiece. Now the point is simple. The point is simple. It comes repeated. That's it. It comes repeated. See the first point. Cutting fluid cools the cutting fluid, cutting tool, and cutting fluid cools the cutting tool and workpiece. Number one. Number two. The heat produced during machining is carried away by the fluid. It is done by supplying adequate quantity of cutting fluid. Let's see what is cutting fluid. So cutting fluid carries away the heat produced during yeah, between the tool and workpiece. Now, it is necessary to cool the tool to prevent metallurgical damage. Metallurgical damage means so every all the tool has some metallurgical damage or wear or some crack, whatever it is, because of this high friction, because of high heat. Okay. Now, when this friction is decreased, tool life will increase. What happens if the tool life is increased? Surface finish will automatically increase. Fine. Now, it lubricates the cutting tool and thus reduces the coefficient of friction. Okay, that's again, this is a repeated, a repeated sentence. This you can, you can memorize it easily. Now, it causes the chips, okay, whenever you use a cutting fluid, it not only removes the, uh, uh, sorry, the heat between the two and work base, it also removes the chip during machining operation. And it washes away the chip, that's what I have said. Next slide, please. Now, these are the properties of cutting fluid. Again, this is the uh, what you have to memorize for easy understanding. Let you know how it should be. First point, you should have high good lubricating properties. Okay. For example, just consider a car. What we say? Hey, we need to lubricate. We need to lubricate the vehicle. To reduce the friction, what we have to do? We have to lubricate by applying some cutting fluid. Right? Say, I mean, some fluid. Now, when it comes to machining, between the cutting tool and workpiece, we need to lubricate it. That's it should have good lubricating properties to reduce friction. So in order to reduce friction, we need to lubricate. Then, 
high heat absorbing capacity. Okay, it should absorb enormous amount of heat. It should have more. It should, it should absorb enormous amount of heat. It should have high heat absorbing capacity. Third is it should have high specific heat, high conductivity, and high film coefficient. Order high specific heat, high heat conductivity, and high film coefficient. So the cutting fluid which we use should have high specific heat. It should have high heating conductivity and high film coefficient. Oh, now, it should have high flash point. What is flash point? In an, it says in an organic compound, when it is exposed to the atmosphere, it should be flame. For example, it should be ignited in air. It's, when it is exposed to an uh, so it's a particular organic compound, the temperature, at a high flash point is the temperature. This is not in the book. You have to learn what is high this is for, the, for explanation. I'm giving it the temperature at which a particular organic compound gives off sufficient vapor to ignite in air. Okay, then it should be odorless. When odorless, no smell. Okay, it should be non-corrosive. Non-corrosive to work and tool. The tool or the workpiece should not be corroded. That this particular cutting tool should not corrode the workpiece and tool. It should have low viscosity to permit free flow of the liquid. It should have low, the, the cutting fluid should have low viscosity. Okay. It should be harmless to operators and bearings. So, operator or bearing should not be harmed by this cutting fluid. It should be stable so that it should not get oxidized. It should be stable, it should not get oxidized. Now, it should be transparent. So, when we apply the cutting fluid, we should, it should be visible. It, it should be visible. Okay, when we apply the cutting tool, the, cut, the operation between the cutting tool, the operation between the cutting tool and the workpiece should be clearly visible. Okay, and then it should not stain or leave residues. When you apply the cutting fluid, there should not be any stain or residues. Now, it should be economical to use. The cutting fluid should be economical to use. I am, I am showing you a live example. Okay. Uh, can someone help me out? Uh, can I have someone from this crowd uh, can come forward? Someone here. Now this is now consider this is your cutting tool. Okay, this is a cutting tool, and now this is this is a pure water. You can see. Okay, this is some pure water cutting fluid. We say this is a cutting fluid. Now this is soap. We are using a cutting fluid. Okay. Okay. This now this is a mixture water. I'm going to make this again. I'm making it a cutting fluid. Okay. Soap water. Again, soap water is also a good lubricant. I mean, uh, good lubricant or a cutting fluid. Okay, the soap water. Now, uh, now there generates uh, high heat. There should be high heat generated. Touch it, touch it. Now there's a heat, right? Heat, 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 right? Yeah. Now we are going to apply the cutting fluid. Okay. This is the cutting fluid. Now we are going to apply the cutting fluid. Okay. Now touch it. Alright. It's cool, right? Yeah. That's it. So this is the good explanation. Please thank you very much. And now this is the good explanation what I can give you for cutting fluid. And thanks. And next slide, please. Next slide, please. Now this is types of cutting fluids and two types of cutting fluids. One is water based cutting fluid. That's what just I have made. That's a mixture of soap and mineral oil. And then is straight or heat oil based cutting fluid. Mineral oil which includes petroleum oil, kerosene oil, paraffin, uh, low viscosity oil etc. And next is straight fatty oils or fixed oils. That's uh, it consists of animal fat uh, or fish and vegetable oil or some commonly used mineral oils etc. Then mixed or compound oil. It's a mixture of straight, fatty, and mineral oils. Then sulfurous oil, it contains 5% of sulfur, and chlorinated oil, it contains of 3% of oil. Fine. That's about cutting fluids. I hope you have understood. Uh, now you should understand. Me. Now, since I have shown you the demo, there should be uh, something will be in the mind. Okay, so I said about cutting fluid. Okay, this is cutting fluid. Okay. Anyways, wish you all the best.